friend. I say, I say, I say hello and welcome back to Irv and Co. It's me, myself, Irv, and my co-host, Amanda. Say what's happening, Amanda. Hey. <laughs> welcome back. Uh, what we got on the agenda for the day? Um, I think if y'all didn't see the first episode, definitely check out the episode to figure out a little bit more about what we got going on. But we want to jump right in today. We don't waste too much of the time. Um, what we talking about today is uh, Amanda has brought to my attention that August is Support Black Business Month. So I figured today would be a good time to kind of like point out some black businesses that we support, that we that we use on a regular basis, um, and just kind of give them a little a little shot, a little shine, um, and for y'all to go check them out um, off our recommendation. Um, and, you know, kind of give us, give you the pros. And if there are any cons, which I, I doubt. I mean, but, you know, some businesses do have cons, but um, we want to give you a little feedback on it. Uh, Amanda, you got any um, businesses that you'd like to to shout out or support and tell the tell people why they should check them out? I would like to sit, um, shout out these All Pound Cakes. Um, they're definitely on Instagram. And they make such delicious pound cakes. Um, they definitely can do a custom order that ordered the coconut um, cake with um, cus with cut with coconut um, filling into it. Definitely was uh, five stars for me on that, and it was really delicious and. Um, like the whole setup was really nice and she was very flexible with me. Um, and she only had, she only requests that you do um, two day, to at least give her 48 hours in order to do the um, order as well. That's dope. Mm -hmm. That's dope. What, what, um, how did you find them? Like just on IG? I, at first I, I was um, at a pop-up with her. Um, and as a booth and um i saw that a lot of a lot of um people in the community really loved her 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 cakes and she would have like plenty of customers and she would sold out um immediately and then i decided to do, do give it a try for a, a birthday the a past birthday and she and she really liked the cake <laughs> let's try my phone <laughs> that's dope though that's dope um again i'm gonna drop my phone but um <laughs> i guess i i drop one in for myself um it's one that I, I definitely probably talk about the most and amanda's probably like you know every time he talk about this this place he be trying to have my mouth watering um and see she's smiling yeah. already because she already know yeah. um I, I, I got more but i'm gonna lead off with this one just because it's probably like one of my favorite go-to spots right now it's uh, the Rabbit Hole. I'm um, located in Pompano. I uh, check out their IG. It's the Rabbit Hole, uh, but we'll we'll probably uh put that the uh in the link below. Um, but check out the Rabbit Hole, man. I I think I've gone there. Shoot, at least like within a month. Within a month's time, I think I've gone at least five to seven, five to seven different, five to seven different times, and I try to get something different every time, and. Yo, everything is banging. Like the food, they call it southern comfort. They call it comfort food for a reason. Cause when I leave there, I feel comforted for real. Like I, I've gotten the mac and cheese, the vegan mac. I suggest the the vegan mac and not cheese. Uh, they got like some like some kind of briskets. Yo, everything is fire. Like, not even fire, it's fire. Um, and I, I I I um I've had like I think they had like a hot dog like. A, a, Coney Island dog or something like that. Bye. I've had a uh, uh, Philly cheese steak. Bye. And then when I say that, now listen, I got like, you know, the fat vegan. You know how I do. But I always plan to just have some of the food. But it'd be so good, I end up eating all of the food. So when you go in there, check it out. I promise you won't be disappointed. Um, now, Amanda just went. What what was your what's your review? I mean, you didn't get all the the comfort food. You had a burger. What was your what was your take? And be honest, tell the people what you thought. I actually had uh, the Impossible Burger uh, with the truffle fries, 
and it's a little bit pricey, but it's definitely yeah, worth the price. Um, <laughs> I definitely had to to stop eating at one point because I had to give myself a nap. And then, of course, <laughs> it, it, was, it got cold, but I still ate it cold. And it's, to me, it, ta- it still tasted good. Um, I had it to go because, you know, Corona. And um, I, w- I was pretty satisfied with the customer service and the way it was presented in, in, in a takeout box. Um, they were very professional. They definitely Absolutely. were um, conscious, conscientious on on um the way that they prepared their food so i I definitely appreciate it um definitely (laughs) try to um get my friend to to try some of their food and she was she quite enjoyed it as well she had the patty melt and um she was oh not finger licking yeah basically that that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, definitely black owned, support black owned. Um, and when I went there, every time I go, you know, I mean, you know how you go to a black owned business. It doesn't always have to just be black employees. But every time I've gone to Rabbit Hole, I mean, it was all black employees. And I think that's dope too. Like they, they're not just uh, black owned, they're actually supporting black employees. I, I'm not even sure if it's even family owned because it's like every time I go, I see pretty much the same people. But it's definitely, um, I felt like family. I mean, I, I even told him, I was like, oh, this food's so good, you're going to know me by name pretty soon. Um, and she was like, yeah, bring it on. Because the food was definitely good. Um, any, anything else? Any any other uh, Black-owned business you want to you wanna put out there, I remember? Or should I say, uh, Co? Hmm. I have a list of it, to be honest. And Uh-oh. definitely, Uh-oh. Um, if you're also a Black-owned business and... Um, we can definitely connect because there's definitely people who want to support black owned businesses. I'm definitely um, trying, I'm in the midst of compiling every black owned business and trying to make sure that um, there's something that people can enjoy in both Miami, Broward, um, may stretch it up to to Pompano, who, kn- who knows? Just gotta hit me up, but on obsidian and i'll definitely add you on the list and stuff and start promoting you on there because i think it's important that we all know where we can get our stuff from and not just have that one person who you know you can get soaps from all the time or just jewelry because there's definitely the black dollar that can be spread around to everything because definitely i'm an artist um too And I definitely try to cater to those who like to do art. Um, And of course, with the Rona, I creatively try to do do it yourself canvases kits. Do it for do it do it at home. You don't have to go to a business um, painting with a twist. You can just do it at home and then just send off the kits to you to you guys. That's dope. That's the, I, you know what? Now that you say that too, I also want to. I kind of want to chime in. Not it's 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 about black business, but we also want to make sure that we're supporting fully. Like just because they're black and we look alike, that don't mean you you need a discount. Like you don't go into other restaurants and ask for this. I mean, some people do, but we want to. We want our businesses businesses to thrive, um, and we don't want to just be out there like we don't want them just to be barely making it. We want them to thrive for maybe the day. Like you say, I, I'm not familiar with how many locations Rabbit Hole has, but if they have a location in Pompano, let's make sure that they can get a location in Miami. Uh, make sure they can get a location in West Palm because I definitely feel like that's that's needed. Maybe they could franchise out to, to another black business um, that's doing something dope in the community. Um, and not, like I said, it doesn't even have to be food. Like we got we got so many black industries that, that that's black owned. Um, you got the hair, you got people doing their own hair, hair lines. Um, you got jungle oil. I mean, you got barber shops that are doing dope things. Um, numerous pool places, numerous apparel lines. Uh, I'm not, I mean, it's, it's so many things out there, but they, they need that, that, that's a 